the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 337, Romans 8 to 11. Paul's righteousness through faith. Nothing in the world can separate us from the love of God and the present affliction cannot be compared to the glory that will be revealed in the future. First point, Paul explained that despite the human sin, justification by faith means that anyone can become God's children. Romans chapter 8 has its core in justification by faith. Paul proclaimed to the Roman church that Christians were free from sin and death. The greatest privilege for Christians was that the Holy Spirit was always with them. Paul wanted to share with them the joys of becoming a child of God and the joy of living for God's glory. Paul declared that all this became possible through God's love. Paul then taught the church about the spirit of life and the spirit of death. The lives of those who only believed in the laws and death by sin were as follows. First, they only considered their days on earth. Second, the physical body is bound to decay. Third, they become the enemy of God from their disobedience. Fourth, they cannot become a joy to God. Fifth, as they do not have God's Spirit with them, they cannot become Christians. This life was indeed comparable to one who believed in the spiritual life after death. First, they considered their spiritual life. Second, their spirit was at peace. Third, they were a joy to God. Fourth, they lived with God as Christians. They could live as God's creation, and through justification by faith, they could live giving glory to God. Thus, as children of God, we must be prepared to receive glory along with persecution. Second point, Paul proclaimed that the present persecution was incomparable to the glory for Christians in the future. Paul taught the Roman church about their current hardship and the glory of the future. In other words, Paul was teaching them about how the current persecution would be transformed into eternal glory. The reason Christians would succeed was the following. First, God saved us through Jesus Christ. Second, God enabled us to become righteous. Third, Jesus who resurrected from death is looking out for us. Thus, Paul confidently confessed his faith. Here, Paul reported to the words of Isaiah. Paul had absolute faith that Jesus would help them succeed. Third point, both Moses and Paul expressed deep love for their people. The reason why Paul so earnestly wanted to collect funds and to send to the Jerusalem church was because he had a great deal of love for his people. However, salvation did not privilege the Jews in any way. God not only saved the Jews, but was able to save the whole world. And he proved this through giving us Jesus Christ for the whole world. Paul, who realized this, could not help but have the desire to spread this truth to the whole world. Moreover, Paul wanted his people to know this whatever the cost. Paul went as far as to proclaim that he would rather be cast and cut off from Christ for the sake of his people, those of his own race, the people of Israel. This concern was similar to that of Moses. Fourth point, Paul taught that accepting the gospel meant accepting Jesus as the Messiah 
and believing in Jesus' cross and resurrection. Paul wrote to the Roman church that he wished for the Jews to be saved. This revealed Paul's honest state of mind. Paul looked at the Jews who believed that they were doing well, when in actual fact they were being hypocritical. At this time, the Jews had their roots in the laws of Leviticus. Paul knew that a person could not gain eternal life only through the laws. After teaching the Roman church about righteousness of faith, he then taught them the gospel. The gospel was accepting Jesus as Christ, believing in Jesus' death and resurrection, and furthermore, believing that the gospel did not discriminate. Paul used Moses and Isaiah, who were symbolic of the law, to once again teach the Jews about their neglect of the gospel. First, he wrote about Moses. Next, he wrote about Isaiah. Fifth point, Paul proclaimed that although he was spreading the gospel to foreigners, God's grace was still with the Israelites. In order to explain to the Roman church about the remnants and their salvation, Paul firstly used himself as an example. Paul explained that at first he also neglected the gospel but came to believe in salvation. Paul then used the example of Elijah and the seven thousand to once again speak of the salvation of the Jews. Here Paul reported to the records in 1 Kings. Thus, Paul had faith that there was still remnant. Paul here explained that although his spreading of the gospel was targeted at the foreign nations, he still believed in God's grace for the salvation of the Israelites. Paul moreover added the unfortunate state of the Israelites. Paul wrote that the gospel had moved on to the foreign nation as the Israelites had rejected it. Paul wrote that once the gospel spread to all nations, the Israelites would envy this and eventually return. This was all part of God's amazing plan. Thus, Paul warned the foreign nations not to boast of their salvation. Salvation is the work of God, and humans are expected to be humble at all times regarding this matter. God's mercy and salvation is applicable to everyone. Ultimately, Paul spoke of Israel's eventual restoration. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.